Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to be unboxing the iPhone 15 Pro. Now, it was very hard to find this device. Couldn't find the Pro Max because it seems like everyone has it on pre-order and you can't get it in the stores. And the thing about pre-order, when you pre-order it, you don't get it first. You pre-order and you get it last. But anyways, let's go ahead and dive in and check this out and see what's going to happen. Okay, so let's go ahead and peel this back and take a look at what it looks like. And voila. So the device itself, this is what it looks like, right? So this is what you call titanium blue, right? Not bad color. It does come with the USB-C cable that's inside. In terms of the display, the iPhone 15 Pro features a stunning Super Retina XDR ProMotion display with a 120 hertz refresh rate. So compared to the iPhone 14 Pro, this makes for an incredible smoother user experience. See, the iPhone 14 Pro, while having an excellent display, it doesn't offer such a high refresh rate which is a significant upgrade for the 15 Pro. So one good thing that you want to take a look into is a new feature called the action button, which is right here. Um, basically, you can customize it. If you don't set up it during your initial phase, you just want to go to settings and then scroll all the way down to action button. And then from there, you can see that you can customize this button right here and use it for a whole bunch of stuff. So starting from the left, you can put it on silent mode, which that's what it looks like. You can go ahead and customize it for camera, so you can take those those nice, perfect pictures just by clicking it. Flashlight the same way. You can set up as a flashlight if you want to go that route. Voice memo as well as another option. Magnifying glass if you choose to go that way as well. Accessibility, you can use it to, um, as a feature or you can do no action. One of the good things though I like is that you can actually customize it. So if you want to add a shortcut, it's really easy to set this up as a shortcut. And then basically once you go in, you can customize it. You can add your favorites, set a timer, recognize music, add a note, recently played music if you choose to, open up an app, books, your clocks. You can even add files, uh, music recognition, photos, whatever you want to do, you can add a shortcut just by adding the shortcut to your action button. Now, another thing I wanted to look into was the iPhone Pro camera system. It, it actually comes with an upgraded triple lens camera system. And as you can see right here, it's three cameras on the outside. Um, it's supposed to have a larger image sensor basically it results in image or uh, improved low light performance and enhanced color accuracy so basically it's running on an ai driven smart hdr um, 4 so basically compared to the older iphone it's it's already top in the line so if you want to take top-notch photos just having the pro alone you'll actually see a significant difference and so if you haven't been able to get it your hands out there to pick up the new iPhone 15, I recommend that you go ahead and get it. Even if you're just going to get it for the one upgrade, maybe the action button and just the USB-C, I think it's a win for us. Gone a couple years ago, we would just get a new iPhone with no adjustments. It would just be a new iPhone with the same um, basics, the same things. So this year we got a new charging port. We got an action button. We got a better camera system. I think we're winning. As always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Go ahead and like and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up and let us know when you pick up the iPhone 15. Will you go for the Pro or will you go for the Pro Max? The choice is yours. Comment below. Let us know which one you get. Okay.